Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll integrate Spring Boot application with rules. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javainews.com. Previously we have seen quite a few rules examples starting with a rules hello world example, stateful versus stateless and other rules example. So you can go through uh, this tutorial, rules tutorial here to learn the basic about rules. The tutorial that we are going to see today will be the Spring, Spring Boot section, Spring Boot plus rules example. Also, I'll be sharing this URL along with this YouTube video. So in this tutorial, we'll create a Spring Boot application and integrate with JBoss tools. Previously, we have already done an example where we integrated rules with Spring MVC application. So this is the application. You can go through this tutorial and also through this YouTube video. This will be the application we'll be developing now. It will be a Spring Boot application where we'll be exposing a REST API which will return the discount base on the type of product value based on the request parameter. So in the request parameter we will be passing some product value and this product value will then be passed on to rules which will then calculate the discount based on the product value and return us the discount which will be then returned back to the user. So let's begin the implementation part. This will be the project structure that we will be creating. Go to Eclipse and create a new Maven project. Let's add the POM dependencies. The dependencies that we have added are the Spring Boot Starter Web and the rules dependency chi-ci. So this will get us all the uh, rules dependencies required. Next we will be creating the domain class named as product. Next we will be creating the .drl file. The .drl file will contain the rules for the uh, discount that is to be given. So uh, in the .drl file if the type of product it is diamond then we give a discount of 15. If uh, it is of type gold then we give a discount of 25. So let's create this uh, .drl file. In the source main resources create a folder. Name it as rules. Inside the rules, we'll create a .drl file. Copy the rules that we have defined here. Next, we define the kmodule.xml file, which is a metadata file. Using this, we'll, we are going to create a stateful session named as K session rule which we'll be using in a bean later on. So let's create this. In the source main resources create another folder. Inside this create another file. Name it as kmodule.xml. Next, inside this file, we'll define the stateful session that we are going to be using later on. We are done with the major rules changes that are required. Next, we'll be configuring the controller. So, create a new class. Inside the controller, we have uh, auto wired the service class. Uh, so, we will be also create the service class next.
so in this service class we are going to fetch the uh, stateful session named as rule session that we have already created in the k module so using the controller we have exposed a get rest service in the get rest service we are going to get a request parameter which will be the product type uh, that for which we want the discount this product type we are going then going to send it to the uh, service class the service class it also gets the uh, stateful rule session and using the rule session we are going to pass the product value and fire the rules in the rules we have mentioned that if the product type is gold then return 25% then set the discount as 25% if it is diamond then set the discount as uh, 15% so once this is done we return the product object back and then the product object is then returned as a json uh, object uh, to the user from the controller next we'll be creating the class with the spring boot application annotation and also we'll be creating a bin of type ki container using java config So we are done with all the changes now. Let's run this application. The application has started properly. Next go to this URL. So here we are going we are currently passing the type as gold. Copy this open link in new tab. So here we can see that the discount that we are getting is 25. if we pass this as diamond the discount we get is as uh, 15 i uh, hope you have uh, understood this tutorial the source code for this it can be downloaded from here thank you